Hi everybody, it's Christina from Pretty Distressed. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about furniture paint. This is Christina interrupting your regularly scheduled video to tell you we have a major problem here. My video is now turning into a how do you combat problems when you're painting furniture? What do you do when you run into something that you've never run into before? I have been painting furniture since 2014 and I have never seen this before. And I've been searching the internet, texting friends in this community, putting it on Instagram. I am having some major red bleed through on this piece. I shellacked it to begin with, which is supposed to stop bleed through and primed it just to protect this really like color that I was working with on my paint. So I went in and sealed it again. I actually have done two additional coats of stain blocker on top of my paint at this time. Let them both dry for an extended period of time, even longer than the can calls for. And I have put my paint back over top of that and I'm still getting this bleed through. Okay, so here are the infamous red dots I told you about. Here is where I did that additional two coats um, of stain blocker and this stain, it's definitely less than it is over here, but it's still really bad. It looks like my piece has the measles, you guys. So I'm thinking it's something in the varnish that's doing this. So I figured out what's happened. This is what the table looked like before I painted it. Very similar, like an oak finish with these little flecks. Um, you see this a lot in furniture. I've refinished stuff like this before and I've never really had an issue, but since my polyurethane on that table was failing, I think whatever varnish or stain they used to create create these little flecks. That's what's actually coming through in that bleed through. The good news is, is that there is no bleed through on the top of this piece. Whatever I did to the top of the piece has prepared it to take paint. And what that was is the finish was chipping and I sanded that completely down. And so now I am going to sand down the, the spots completely that have this nasty bleed through and get down to bare wood, then start all over again and see if that takes care of this. Even though I sealed it, it just must have been really strong or something about that polyurethane failing was really making that bleed through come through, even though I shellacked it and sealed it several times. I might have been able to fix this with a stronger primer, but I didn't have anything like that on hand. And I had just done so many coats, I just thought it was better to start over. So that's why I sanded it back. So I did one coat, let it dry for 45 minutes, did a second coat, I've let that dry for 45 minutes now, and now I'm gonna go back in with my paint and see if we have our problem fixed. Got my zebra square brush to get into my details. Thank you. 
This is the first coat of paint and I'm not seeing any bleed through. Fingers crossed, I'm gonna do one more coat and then test out a spot of top coat when that dries. The top coat was the stuff that was really bringing through the dots, so keep your fingers crossed for me, guys. Here we go, coat two. fixed it. Thank goodness this piece is finally done and I will be sharing it with you in a video soon. I'm sure there are other ways that you can fix this and like I said earlier in the video I think an oil based primer would have done the job on here but I'm not sure because I use shellac and usually shellac never fails me and it failed me in this instance. So if you have a finish that's chipping and it looks like the poly coat or whatever the top coat is on it is failing it probably is a good idea just to sand down the entire piece and not just the parts that look like they're failing because if part of it is failing probably the whole thing is failing. This is what happens when you get free furniture you have no idea where it's been or what it's been through um, or even if you're buying something cheap offline you just never know what you're gonna run into. So don't be freaked out. I think this is a really rare case of something like this happening. Like I said, I have not seen anything like this in the six years that I've been refinishing furniture. Thank you to everybody who encouraged me along the way and tried to send me ideas on how to fix it. I really appreciate it. Fallon at Market House Restoration and Renovative Home out of Lynchburg, Virginia just really helped me out and encouraged me along the way and told me not to give up and I figured it out. So I hope this is just a lesson to you guys that sometimes you're just gonna run into things that are gonna trip you up that are gonna make projects a little longer than they should be but don't get discouraged push through there's really hardly a lot of things that you can't fix but sometimes it just takes a little bit of effort and going to the drawing board and reaching out to your community and trying to find a solution to the problem. If you've ever run into a crazy problem on a project before, I'd love to hear about it. So put that down in the comment box below and let me know how you solved that problem. I will be back with another project soon. Thank you guys for being here and I will see you next time.